LoopCloud has 10 built-in effects, which you can use on your loops and sounds, either from your library or even the sounds from the store before you've made a purchase with your points. You can find the effects by clicking the Edit button under the Effects tab in the Edit window. If you don't see the Edit window, like if it's in the Collapse view as we see here, we click Edit here, and then we can click Edit here to get the Effects bus. To add an effect, we click right here, and we can see the currently available effects compressor, the delay, the EQ, the filter, the very cool grain stretch, the panner, the reverb. And you can see here, we can have quite a lot of effects on any given track. There's the stop reverse, the tone box. Once I've added a effect that goes off the page, we'll get a slider down here so we can see them. And finally, the vinyl tape stop. So you can see that we can have quite a few effects. Now, I can click on one and just hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. I can also reorder the signal chain just by clicking and dragging and dropping. Now I'm not gonna go through what each one of these effects does. They're pretty straightforward and pretty common in most DAWs. But I do wanna point out that they do have modulation capabilities inside of the track view. So I'm gonna delete everything except for the reverb just so we can focus up. Now once I have an effect selected, you'll see that the track down here will light up the same color as the reverb, for example. When I come out of here, we'll get back to the normal view, but when I'm in edit and I have an effect selected, in fact, let's add one more, you'll see that I have an outline or a border on the track of the color of the effect. If you come to the left-hand side of any clip, you'll see which parameters can be modulated. So I have size and mix. On the right, you can see that we have some pre-built in LFO styles. For example, a sine wave. And then we can easily click and drag its position up and down, change how long it is by using this over here. And now we'll expect the automation to happen on the size on the effect. And this automation or modulation line will be relative to where we have the parameter set. If I come in and split this, we'll now have control over the different clips independently of one another. And of course, we can even change the LFO type. Now, if I click link right here, they will link them together, but still keep the clips separate. And this is just easy if you wanna have the same thing happening on multiple clips inside of a track. And this process will be the same with any of the effects built into Loop Cloud. One additional note about effects is that you'll see here, I've got a pattern inside of my track view. When I go into my effect view, I've got my reverb selected. I can chop up the reverb clip differently than how the audio is chopped in the track view. That's pretty important and gives you a lot of flexibility on what you're doing with your effects. Once you've added effects to anything in Loop Cloud, you have a couple of different export options, whether you wanna export with those effects or not. For more information on exporting and rendering, check the video linked below.